What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I wanted to actually share something kind of cool that I discovered last night. Uh, I don't see a lot of information on it on YouTube, and that's the direct link uh, software from M Audio, and it actually runs really, really well with Ableton. Um, what I mean by that is you can control so many different parameters in Ableton by default, just from uh, any random MIDI controller, and all the M Audio stuff seems to be actually set up really, really well for this. Um, what I'm going to do to show you first off in the example, um, <clears throat> you can't create audio tracks from it. That is, or tracks, MIDI tracks, audio tracks, something like that. You can't um, do the browser, but you can, for example, um, switch tracks. You can go track left, track right, and it'll automatically arm if you have a setup in the preferences. You can mute tracks, you can solo tracks. And so I thought that was really cool. You can record a, you can record your scene. You can move up to different two different scenes. And you know, all this stuff I just think is just really cool. Um, stuff you can do in Ableton. You can also you can't like I said you can't browse the browser, which kinda of sucks, but you can have the macro set up. So you see I'm turning the knobs here on my Oxygen 41 and you know a lot of time I thought you'd have to have something like an MPK to do this or you know an Axiom Pro the Axiom Pro is actually laid out really well for, for this but actually the layout for this one's actually better than the um, Akai MPKs which I was really surprised about um, you know because the MPKs basically you have the faders so you can mix with them and then you have the eight the eight buttons, but those are just used to arm to arm individual tracks. You can't trigger the um, scenes like I can here. You can't go down from all different scenes like I'm doing here. You can't go from track to track. Um, so you know, I thought that was really cool, and it's all laid out as long as you have the right presets going. Um, for the particular setup that I'm using, um, like I said, I have an Oxygen 61 MIDI controller. You have to have it on preset 10 on the Oxygen, and then you have to go into your live preferences on the MIDI sync tab. Make sure you have the third gen Oxygen. That's very important because the second gen is set up a little bit different, and that screwed me up um, because I couldn't get the um, next track button to work at first, and I was trying to figure out why, and it's because I had the first gen um, selected. So anyway, that's just a quick tip. I hope this helps somebody out. I thought it was really cool. Um, and if you guys want to learn more about um, your controller, because there's a lot of different controllers that are set up for this, go into help. You can go to help view. And then you're going to go down to um, show all built-in lessons. Here you go. And then you're going to go control surface references. And you have your options for um, so many different controllers because a lot of controllers are mapped out this way um, especially if you don't have the 25 key version if you have the 49, 61, 88 key versions then you, it's, a lot of keyboards going to be set up like this um, just from looking at everything too I think the M Audios are actually set up the best um, but this is going to save me a little bit of money because I was looking for this functionality and this is part of why I was going to get pushed I was looking at a, maybe an APC-20 or an APC-40, maybe a launch pad, um, the MPK, something like that to get this kind of functionality. I wish I could browse the browser using this, but hey, you know, um, this is a lot more functionality than I had before. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody out. Um, please rate and comment on the video. Check out KevWestBeats.com, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.